Okay, so in this video I'm taking a look at a disc drying rack made of metal and it has a multitude of different options available. Obviously assembly is also required. Check out a couple of detailed images about this actual product and then we'll get into the video. Okay, so as stated, we're taking a look at this dish drying rack. Uh, goes over the sink, and it is metal construction. It does come packaged, uh, each piece in plastic and with uh, bubble wrap as well. So no real damage or any you know situations uh, where damage has occurred. Fortunately, I don't see any uh, scratches in the paint, any dents in the metal, uh, no kind of defects. Fortunately, at this point, so you have a utensil holder your cups glassware cutlery your knives this is good for lids this I consider more of a multi-purpose basket sponges soaps you know, things of that nature. Maybe some smaller items. And you have a few different racks. This one, again, more of a multi-function, multi-use type, in my opinion. This one is going to be good for your plates and bowls. This one is going to be more for your plates, but if you have an overflow, you have a card here that has their website and it mentions warranty so there's that and then you have this for your instructions just two sides and then you have your hardware and the tools required for assembly so hopefully this is going to fit where I plan to put it over my sink we'll find out first let me get this assembled and then after this, we'll come back and take a look at it when it's assembled and set up as well and I can stop putting stuff on one side of my sink in a dish drainer, start putting them behind the sink and free up the other uh, side, the right hand side. All right, so let me get this assembled and we'll be back here shortly. All right, so assembly went really smooth. Everything fit, no issues with bolt stripping or lining things up, both the metal and all the different bolts and such. And they have three different size bolts and two different size washers that you will use. And they include an extra of each one of those. So you do have one spare for all of the different pieces that will join together. Uh, here and here, here and here are your screws that will allow you to adjust and expand this thing out depending upon what size you require. It does have uh, suction cups. So it shouldn't move around very much anyway, but that should help a little bit. And in the hardware pack are some additional hooks so you can actually uh, you know hang some things from your rack as you see fit so that's an additional item that's also included and the instructions are laid out really well super fast super quick super quick super easy and they have an allen key so you don't have to worry about locating any tools for assembly so I'm going to stop the video, put it over there by the sink, then we'll take a look at it actually set up, and we'll start using it. All right, so hopefully you can see this pretty well. So over time, I'll probably make some adjustments to this, and because of the fact that I have this uh, faucet the way that I do and a water filtration system, I had to kind of move things around a little bit different than I probably will have in the future. I may have to rearrange some things, but uh, you can see the glass... Uh, glassware holder and pot holder on the left and you can see the utensil holder on the right at the top 
and just everything else is just kind of laid out kind of the way I think I'm going to leave it, at least for right now, kind of see how this plays out over time, make some adjustments, but it fits, it's easy to adjust, it's fairly sturdy uh, once assembled. Again, it went together very easily, and it is coated, so shouldn't pose any real issues. And in the, well, on the top of the sink, you can see the old drying rack that I was using. It's actually drying right now. That was sitting in the uh, right-hand side, and that you know ate up a lot of space in the actual sink because I had one side. Now I have both sides open again. So anyway, that's what it looks like assembled. It seems to work really well, and. I don't suspect I'll have any problems. All of the metal is coated uh, so that it doesn't have uh, potential for rust or probability of rust. The hooks in the back are just placed there so I can move those as needed. And all of the metal squared off tubes, if you want to call it that, are uh, terminated on the ends with plastic caps so water intrusion into the actual uh, inside shouldn't be a problem at all that's on the top and the sides and everything so yeah there it is it works fine I'm actually very happy with it much much better much more space available than what I had prior so if you want to find out more about this the link check out the link it's below the video thanks for watching